Hey folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. The first step in learning how to read sheet music like this is to simply learn the names of the notes that you're playing. And there's a fun and intuitive way to do this. We can play the note name game. There's three main steps to it. You play something, you say the name of that note, D, then you say and play it at the same time, D. So now that you know a bit about how it works, let's learn more about how to practice it. Alrighty, so before getting further into the note name game, which I think will be a fun thing for you to practice and do, I just want to say that this is the first lesson in a series of lessons I'm making for Hit Fiddlehead called Note Reading for Fiddlers. Basically, I'm going to teach you how to read sheet music. A lot of begin, beginning fiddlers are intimidated by reading sheet music and by theory, and so I'm presenting a fun and intuitive approach to doing this. And furthermore, I'm going to teach you exactly what you need to learn in order to read sheet music and nothing more. There's a lot of extra information that would bog down your brain and distract you. So I'm going to be giving you just focused information on how to read sheet music. The idea being if you get the basic idea down really well, like learning arithmetic, and if you want, then, then if you want to go further, you can but you'll have the basic things you need in order to read fiddle music. Okay, so thanks for listening to that little bit about the note reading for fiddlers course. Now we'll get back into learning the note names with the note name game. So we can start by just doing the game with single notes. So we've already done it in the intro with open D and that's called D. Placing first finger down, D1, we have E. And practice this and each part of the each part of the game with drones. So now we would use an E drone. And to play the game, we simply play the note. E. Say E. Play E. Say E. 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 Then Try to do both at the same time. E. E. Or maybe keep bowing and say E once in a while. E. E. Final step after you've done that a little bit is to just think E. Think the, the saying E, but don't actually say it with your mouth. Just imagine, imagine that in your head. Okay, makes sense so far. So now let's do something a little bit more challenging. We're gonna do two notes, play the game with two notes. We're gonna go open to first and then say D, E. D, E. Now do them at the same time. D, E, D, E, D. You can use either a D drone or an E drone for this. All right, so let's pause and reflect. You know the basic idea of the game now. I'm gonna continue in the lesson, but just know that you have the core practice and the rest is just variations, but there are some useful and fun variations that I want to show you. So the rest of this game is just variations on the process, just different ways to play the note name game and make it fun. And I want to say that I'll probably, you'll probably think of a way to play the game that I have not, and I want to encourage you to share it with me and with everybody else. That's how a lot of Fiddlehead has evolved by good students like yourself saying, hey, I did this, I played the note name game while standing in the shower and then other people are like, oh, that's great. I want to try that too. So anyhow, please let me know 
how it works for you, whether or not it's helpful too. All right, so I'm gonna continue. We're gonna do the rest of the notes on the D string, then we're gonna give you some other ways to play the game. So D2 is F sharp. So we can use an F sharp drone and then just alternate playing, saying F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, then doing it at the same time, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, and then saying that in your head without your voice but playing. Okay, and so you may be wondering, why is it called F sharp? Can I cut myself on that note? Sorry for the dad joke. Well, I would love to answer that question, and I will, but I'm gonna do it later, and here's why. Because I want you to just, just use brute force to memorize these names, these note names at this point. If you really know the note names well now, when we start learning concepts, a teeny bit of theory and sheet music reading, learning to read sheet music later will be a lot easier if you're grounded in that. So please just bear with me. I'm not trying to withhold information from you and torture you. Just simply memorize the note names. And by the way, if this lesson is going too slow, just you can pause it and just do the rest of the note names on your own. But we're almost done. So we're moving on to D3, which is G. We use a G drone, play that. Oh. G, 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 okay. Then say it at the same time, G, G, G. You can also sing the notes as one variation, G. Okay, so now that we've done all the notes on the D string, what we're gonna do is simply put them all together and say, the, say them that way. So first I'm just gonna play them all. Then say D, E, F sharp, G. D, E. F sharp G. Now say and play at the same time. D E F sharp G D E F sharp G. So if you are watching this on Fiddlehead, I have made special play along tracks that train you to alternate between saying and playing and doing it at the same time. So please check that out and use them to practice. You may not need to use them that much, but just use them a little bit to get going. Okay, and finally, I encourage you to try to do the reverse because that'll really, it's a little harder, but that'll really cement these note names in your brain. So play three, two, one, open, and say G, F sharp, E, D, G, F sharp, E, D. Same time, say and play. G, F sharp, E, D. All right. So that's the note name game. You can do it on phrases from tunes like Frere Jaca. D, E, F sharp, D. And Another variation you can do, a couple of little variations. One is to silently finger the notes and say them. So we could do uh, D, E, F sharp, G, D, E, F sharp, G. You could also do that in your mind. Just imagine, maybe imagine playing it in your mind. So this is a process called audiation, but we could do, and then imagine in your mind, D, E, F sharp, G. This form of visualization will really help you remember it as well. So, so that's roughly it. That's the note name game. I'm gonna present the game in further installments on Fiddlehead for other note names. So there will be, uh, separate lessons on how to play the note names on the other strings. 
spread throughout the course. But this will be the main video lesson for that. And unless, I, unless some of you give me ideas on how you've played the game, then maybe I'll do like a little follow-up video or supplemental video. But anyway, I hope this was useful and fun. It's a simple idea, but see what cool things you can do with it. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can hear about more lessons. See you soon. Now, go fiddle with it. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video Excellent! And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.